Hello geomates, welcome to my channel at Easy Surveys, where we make survey practices to be easier and educative. From our last series on the production of land use land cover map, I displayed on how to import the Landsat 8 imagery as well as produce the composite bands, alright, and I explained on how to clip out the study area out of the raster image so please if you are joining us for the first time do well to check under this video description to see how we did all that and came about this all right so in this video i will quickly finish up the final presentation for our land use land cover map so to quickly do that i will quickly explain the last at eight band combinations all right, so the band combinations differs. All right, if you are using Lancer 7, 4, 5, or 6 to do your classification, okay, you are going to be needing to know or have the idea about the band combinations so that you can effectively do your supervised classification to produce your land use land cover. But in the course of this video, I am using Landsat 8 imagery. So this is the Landsat 8 band combination here. So for natural color, which is 432, and I actually displayed that to us the last video. All right, 432, to just change the band combination, you are going to click on the red and make it band 4. Band 4 here is still standing for raster 4. All right, band 4 then three you make that screen you choose and check band three then add the last one which is the blue you will make it band two so this is how to do your band combination in order to have the right color combination for your classification so i'm going to scroll down to show us other color so this is color infrared okay it's 543 in case you want to classify for that you are going to change that to that color i'm going to scroll down to see this is short wave infrared 764 this is for agriculture 652 all right so in case i want to classify for agriculture all i have to do is to come to this place and make it six five and two so you can see it is going to give me the region that is having vegetations all right region that is having agriculture these are the agriculture region the green part so to classify will be easier this way all right but in the course of this video i am just going to quickly show you the other few ones so this is for geology 762 all right bathymetric is 432 all right so i am just going to quickly do the classification based on the natural color which is four three two all right all i want to classify is water body vegetation built up area beer lands all right so that is just all i want to see in the course of this video okay so for my water body i can know that this region here is my water body so i am going to do I am going to digitize this region as my sample okay to tell the processing software which is the agile software in the course of this video to classify other pixel samples that have these same pixel values so as you can see if i zoom very well you can see the pixels so the moment i choose this region as my sample for my water body the processing software which is the agile software is going to help me classify other region having the same pixel value as this region as water body so the moment i come to a beer land surface and choose it as, as my sample the software is going to help me classify other pixel region having the same value as where i have chosen as sample so how to do just that is just what i want to show you now all right so the next thing to do is to come to customize go to toolbars then check your image classification here you check it 
so when you check it it is going to appear here so as you can see classification all right the raster is going to appear here which is the landsat imagery okay then other things is going to appear as well so that's just what you have to do to bring out your image classification tools all right so the next thing i am going to do is to choose my training samples i am going to choose my training samples for the features i want to see so to do just that i am going to come here to training sample manager click on it so in case your your image classification is not activated please under this video description i am going to drop the solution to that if your image classification is not activated if this is your first time all you have to do is just in that video the solution is provided there just watch the video to see how to activate your classification tools all right thank you so i am going to choose my training sample by coming to training sample manager so to start to choose your training sample you will come to this drop down shadow arrow here then you can choose the format you want to use so i would like to go with draw polygon all right so i want to start to choose the training sample for water body all i have to do is to just digitize the region for water body so you carefully make sure you digitize just the region of interest so that is one region for water body i'm just going to digitize another region for water body all right so so it's not compulsory you digitize all the region the only thing you are trying to tell the processing software which is the agile software is to classify other region having the same pixel values as what you have actually used so this is the idea of supervised classification you are the one in charge you are the one in control all right so i have choose the water body sample so i want to merge them together so to merge together i uh, will highlight this three samples since they are for water body then i will come to this icon here so you can see merge training samples then click on it it is going to merge all right so here the class i am going to rename it as water body okay so that is the class name so the next thing i am going to digitize out is my built up area so like i said these regions that is whitish in in nature here these are built up so i am just going to digitize the built up area this is our residence area so this place is more of built up So this is actually enough for me. So I'm going to merge them the way I did for water body. Then rename as Beautop. Okay, so the next thing I want to see on my land use land cover is vegetation. So these are green parts of my imagery. So all I just have to do is to size the green part so just make sure you are digitizing the right feature on your imagery so this is actually okay for me then I am going to merge them together and call it vegetation so the next thing I want to see on my land use land cover map is beer lands so as you can see here 
this region is obviously barren so I'm just going to choose it as BLM Alright, so when I'm done with that, I'm going to merge that as well. And call it Barring Lands. Okay, so these are things I want to see okay, on my imagery. So the next thing I'm going to do is to save this training sample by coming to save training samples here. So you are going to make sure you know the folder you are saving it. So I'm going to call this sample samples so that anytime I'm in need of it I can upload and still make use of it. So I have successfully saved these training samples. Alright, the next thing I'm going to quickly show you is to create a signature file. Alright, so to create a signature file, you are going to come to this icon here, create a signature file, then click on it. So to create a signature file, you are just going to name it, okay? So I'm going to call this sample signature. Then dot. This is very important. The extension file should be dot small letter GSG, okay? When you rename dot small letter gsg else it will not run all right then you know the folder it is going through then i am going to click on save so i am done creating the signature file so the next thing i'm going to do so you should note the value of your features so these are the classes all right so you note the value because this is going to help all right i'm just going to close this all right then to run this supervised classification you will come to classification here click on it all right then you click on maximum likelihood classification maximum likelihood classification you click on that so when you click on that so the input raster bands is the raster here okay very important raster then signature file you will go to the folder where the signature file is saved so i'm going to navigate to the folder so it's on youtube i'm going to go down so this is it sample signature i'll click on it then click on open so it will load here very important then the output raster now is your supervised classifications so i'm going to call this supervised and i'm going to click on save all right so supervised click on save so here at reject fraction you leave it a power probability you leave it equal then i'm going to scroll down so leave it as equal very important equal okay don't miss that then that is all at this setup here okay that is all at that setup there then i am going to click on okay so below here it will start to run my supervised classification for me all right please if you have watched this video to this extent do well to hit on the subscribe icon as well as like and share to so it is successfully done all right so the next thing i'm going to do now is to edit the name and sample so as you can see this particular sample classes i created is still there so to cancel that you just need to click on clear training samples and that is all all right clear training samples so like i said this is actually the supervised classification i'm going to check my raster now so the colors are not actually 
given the right symbols they are not given the right symbols so all as the GIS analyst that you are all you have to do is to assign the right full color as well as label for the classes so to just do that you can just use your training samples all right you can use your training samples to have idea about that so this is actually the samples so as you can see this is one four eight eleven so for one it's actually water body so i'm going to edit that as water body so for four so you can actually double click on it to edit it double click on the value for four is built up so these are built up areas then for eight is vegetation five for eleven is barren lands so here you are now going to change the color according to what it is expected to be so water body is expected to be blue the top is expected to be red vegetation green the barren lands you can assign any color of interest to that so you click on apply and ok so as you can see this is just the idea about producing your land use land cover map so as you can see this is actually the water region here so i'm going to check my raster again so this is the water region here so as you can see this is the water region here all right so i'm going to check the supervised classification for us to have a better understanding so as you can see that is just it then the red is the beautiful areas all right the beautiful areas why the yellow is the barren lands all right then the green are the vegetations so that is just the idea about creating your land use land cover map so thank you for watching so you can decide to load your base map all right and embellish your map professionally okay so you can still check under the video description you are going to see how to load a base map and overlay it on different maps thank you for watching we hope to see you next time